Hello my wonderful people. So you can probably tell that behind me I have a lot of stuff. Now why do I have so much stuff? Because I collect absolutely everything. Like everything. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there straight away. This is not me bragging in any way about anything I have. Now that that's out of the way, I know there is a lot of people who like seeing people share their stuff and what they collect. Now I am doing this particular one on my Harry Potter collection and Harry Potter stuff that I own. I own a fair bit of Harry Potter stuff. I love Harry Potter. Um, I'll probably also do like a Funko Pop collection at some point so I'm not going to include my Harry Potter Funko Pops. But besides that, I'm going to include all the wands or other noble collection stuff I have. Any books, movies, all that kind of stuff. So if you would like to see that, let's get started. It looks like but I'm just editing this and the wands took up so much time. I went into detail, so I put the wands at the end. So I kind of, I'm like, next few things, but like because I filmed it in a different order as to what it came out as. So that's why that happened. So the next two things I'm going to show you are also from the Noble Collection and they are, you know, replicas or that. So this is the Locker of Salazar Slytherin. Um, this isn't the, like, in the movie there's like the real one and then there's like a fake one that Regulus made. This is the, like, real one and uh, but um it does open up but it doesn't really have any space to put anything in it and you can tell this like whole container is kind of like slightly worn out here's a photo because the video looks like <coughs> and you can even see it and then in the same kind of packaging i have the time turner that hermione wears in Prisoner of Azkaban. Same deal, you could see this one way better, but I wanted to just show you a clear picture and that's them together as well. Now I prefer this one's boxing. It's got a lot more detail. Um, I think the brown looks better because like they can add the detail and stuff. This one again, it does actually spin. You can wear it as a necklace, I don't. But I just think the box looks so much prettier than this one then also from the um studio tour in london i got butterbeer like the drink which i've had a few times in orlando um from the park and then i also got butterbeer ice cream i was the only one in my family that got them in souvenir cups because one my entire family didn't need them and because i'm a massive fan and my family isn't so much I have them on display because they're still souvenirs from both the trip and Harry Potter. I have a mug which is a Marauder's Map colour changing mug. <laughs> so this is the mug. It says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good and at the back it has footprints and then when there's heat in it it has it into the map and then when you finish your drink it says mischief managed and it goes back to black. Mug I got like two years ago for Christmas have to put another disclaimer out there because this is probably really f annoying to watch. I had a cat hair like stuck in my fake eyelash like the entire video so I was like bawling my eyes out afterwards and decided to go take the lash off see what was happening. That's what was happening so if I touch my eye for like 90% of this video that's why. Anyway the mug I got like two years or so ago for Christmas Next is my movie collection, um, which comes in this big box with like all character portraits and then this is the book, same as the packaging. And this is all the movies, it's definitely a collector, collector's edition of the movies. So it's filled with images, um, so this is Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Heartbreaker, 
Love you, Sirius. Half blood prints and special features of half half blood prints. Uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1 with special features and Deathly Hallows Part 2 with special features and then the ending I absolutely love this I'm so glad I had my parents my parents got me this when they went back to Belgium a few years ago um, on their own not as a family trip next is the books I have so first I have I do have the screenplay or script for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in soft cover unfortunately this I got for Christmas as well and I read it in one sitting the day I got it and I am a Slytherin I will gladly admit so I have the Slytherin version of Philosopher's Stone which I got as a birthday present from a friend a few years ago I also have the Slytherin version of the Chamber of Secrets and the Slytherin version of Prisoner of Azkaban so I'm clearly I don't have the whole series in books I have read them but I don't have them because I'm collecting this version and I'm hoping I can pick up the hard covers of all of these as well because I prefer hardcover books. Next I have some unofficial merch. So this is a snitch which came in a loot crate box and it says I open at the close and it literally does open. So I actually put a necklace in it and have it hanging out when I display it. Then I have this which is a pocket watch. Um, it's just got like the crest in it and it is a watch. Um, it is out of battery though. <laughs> Then I have this necklace um, of the Deathly Hallows and it has some charms with spells on it which I actually got in in the platform nine and three quarter store in London, the charms. Um, the actual necklace I think I got off Wish and this one I got off Wish as well and it was just a golden snitch. So this is the one that I actually kind of put in here. When I put it on display. You know what I really wish I did this entire video? So this is my authentic Slytherin cape, gown, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it has the logo, the inside is green. It's actually got a little wand pocket so you can like keep your wand in it if you go to the parks or something. And this one I got at the studio tour in London as well. Here's some photos of me at the tour wearing it. Ah, uh, some fellow nerd Harry Potter lame cringy photos of me two bloody years ago. Love that. So I was so happy I got this, but it was quite pricey and it's way too hot where I live to wear it now. So Okay, and the last thing I kind of have is a Platform 9 and 3 quarters ticket, which I also got at the Platform 9 and 3 quarters store in London, which is actually at the train station. So this is the ticket. And I hang this up. <laughs> I display everything. This I kind of have, which isn't Harry Potter but it's the Fantastic Beasts movie. It's a Blu-ray version and it's I only have the first one. I haven't got the Crimes of Grindelwald yet um, but look how cute this packaging is. Unfortunately I can't display it like that because it won't stay open but it's like Newt's um, suitcase. And I have this Gryffindor Quidditch shirt which came in a loot crate box because they sent me the wrong house. That loot crate box, I also got this Harry Potter Quidditch um, badge thing that you can like um, iron onto your clothes. And this Quidditch Captain badge, which again, wrong house because they sent us the wrong box, which they were going to replace, but I haven't got a replacement yet. That's actually it. I also have this... Um, book from typo which is harry potter and the philosopher's stone i also have this like sticker decal collection ones on my macbook air i have eight ones at the moment i'll probably get more eventually when i actually have money to use <laughs> this one 
that I'm about to show you is one of my favorites just because of how it came. Um, and it is the Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, so you can get this as an individual wand, but I got it on the plaque with her Death Eater mask as well. Her wand is honestly one of the most interesting and unique wands because it's bent. It has this nice engraving along the actual like hand held bit. Next I have four wands in these like collector character boxes. This one is Hermione Granger's wand which I got um for my birthday a few years ago. Hermione's wand is really pretty it's not one of my favorites but it has this kind of flowery like ferny wrap around it and it is quite a long wand but this was ow. <laughs> I actually have all these and the Bellatrix one hung up um, and I don't tend to take them out of the boxes because I just prefer not to. Please know all these wands are collector's wands. It says authentic and like official collector's wand. They're not actually toys and if they are played around with a lot and dropped, they will break. They actually say on them that they're for 14 and over. I have Dumbledore's, which is also known as the Elder Wand. Now, everyone knows what the Elder Wand looks like because it's one of the like franchise's most iconic looking wands. And of course, it's part of the Deathly Hallows. So it has this really cool band around it, which has like symbols. Then I have Harry Potter himself in this version of wand. Harry's, it kind of just has like a literal like branch or tree trunk. And then these different types of wood, the Ginny Weasleys. Now I actually really like Ginny's wand because it's just pretty. It's completely black and no different color, but it's got this really pretty like unicorn horn kind of design and this is how I display these wands. Next I have wands in like official collector's boxes and I have Sirius Black which is my absolute favorite wand, Snape and Draco and ironically the ones I have in these boxes are probably my favorite characters. So first I'm going to go for Professor Snape, so Severus Snape, um, and this one's really pretty, completely black, and it has this kind of like, to me, asian chinese like, design in it, and I display these like this on my backboard in the corner. Next I have Draco Malfoy, and I got both Draco Malfoy and Sirius's on the Harry, like the Warner Bros studio tour in London. Again, same kind of thing, Draco Malfoy. And then his wand is, it's, sim it's simplicity. So like, it's got like this black handheld bit and then this is more like a woody brown color. This box, let me just show you the comparison. Look how much bigger Sirius's wand is. So this is Sirius Black, he is my absolute favorite character all-time favorite character and this one actually still has the fragile collectible wand not a toy thing in it like i said it's quite long and all these like designs and carvings in this wand is are so unique and to me make it one of the most beautiful ones besides that i think that's about it for my Harry Potter collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.